So we're going to calculate the work to raise a leaky five pound bucket that's lifted 20 feet in the air at a constant speed. The rope weighs 0.3 pounds per foot. The bucket starts with 10 pounds of water, leaks at a constant rate, and there's only five pounds left when we get to the top. Um, so in this problem, what we need to do is we have a bucket being raised and there's a couple different approaches that you can take. One of the ones that I kind of like is sometimes it's fun to look at the, the rope and the bucket separately. So the rope, let's take a slice of the rope. You do not have to do this, this is just one way. So that slices delta x and I know that the force on that rope is going to be 0.3 pounds per, per foot times the delta x. That's the size of the rope. And so the force on the ith slice is 0 0.3 delta x. Now, how far am I moving this? Well, if I let this, for instance, we're going to have to mark a distance here. If I let this be, I want to measure it from the bottom. So I'm going to say this is x sub i. So this is 20 minus x sub i. Then the work on the ice slice is 0 0.3 times 20 minus x sub i delta x. Once we have that, we know that the work is going to be the integral of 0 0.3, 20 minus x, dx, and x ranges from 0 up to 20. So we can pull the 0 0.3 out front, and we're going to have 20x minus x squared over 2 from 0 to 20. So 0 0.3 times 400 minus 200. So 0 0.3 times 200, so that's 3 tenths times 200, so we get 60 foot-pounds. So that's just getting rid of the rope. Now we're going to do the bucket separately. So again, we need the force on the ith slice. Since it's in pounds, uh, since everything's in pounds, it's automatically a force. We don't have to multiply by gravity. But we have a situation where the, the even the um, bucket is changing. If the bucket wasn't changing, it would be a very straightforward multiplication problem. But we need to get this changing force of the bucket. Well, we know when x is 0 that the bucket weighed 10 pounds. Of 10 pounds. And when it's up to uh, excuse me, 20, it weighs 5. So we can get the slope between these. So 5 minus 10 over 20 minus 0, which is negative 5 over 20 or negative 1 fourth. So the bucket, the force on the ith slice we can get now is negative 1 fourth x sub i plus 10, because that's what it initially starts at. So if the slice is 0, the force is 10 pounds. Now, this bucket, we want to figure out how much it is, takes to raise it delta x. So the work on the ice slice is negative 1 fourth x sub i plus 10 delta x. So the total work, again, is going to be 0 to 20, negative one-fourth x plus 10 dx. So integrating, sorry, <laughs> negative one-eighth x squared plus 10x from 0 to 20. So here we're going to have negative one-eighth times <laughs> 20 squared plus 10 times 20. And we will have, this is 400 divided by 8, so we have negative 50 plus 200 equals 
150 foot-pounds. So what we've done is we've done each one of them separate and now the total work for raising each of these is 210 foot-pounds. Something that you may notice is these integrals had the same limits so we could have done this all in one integral but I wanted to look at them separately so that you could see how each of them are done and we can just add the two uh, work, work amounts together.